My name is David Schifrin and I own a firm called Filament Life Science Communications and I help early stage life science companies uh, tell their stories, put together a message and get their really exciting and cool and innovative data packaged in a way that people will care about and that can make a difference in the world. Scientists will say often struggle with taking a big pile of data and making it interesting and understandable for their audiences. And so um, this is a problem when those scientists go out and start companies and I wanted to uh, help them kind of get past that and, and, and tell stories that would make people or help people care about their work. So my work uh, spans kind of strategy and then also content development, kind of the, the strategy and the tactics. So I will come in and help an early stage company uh, define their message, figure out who they're trying to reach and what they're trying to say. Uh, again, working on the premise that, that solid data is absolutely critical for success, but it's not enough. The data doesn't speak for itself. And so help them come up with kind of why they're doing things, building a message. Um, and then from there, I can help companies actually uh, develop the content that they need, whether that's blogs and white papers or, or videos or slide decks to get that story across to any given audience. It was through a lot of painful conference talks and seeing the big difference in the people who could really get a story across and the people who couldn't. And so um, I wanted to, again, help scientists communicate more effectively and, and uh, found a niche to do that in. Everyday survival. <laughs> I've been doing this for a couple of years and it's uh, getting out and sending the emails and learning how to uh, speak the language of normal human beings and not the language of science. And so getting out and, and uh, sitting down over coffee and listening uh, for me, that's, that's kind of the daily challenge. I'm David Schifrin, and I will survive. <laughs>